Through the centuries, the world has always had small businesses, from the early age bakers to the modern day cinema installers. Some of these companies have broken through the small business stage and have become huge successes such as McDonald's, which took off in 1948. Today, we follow these two business owners who have years experience in their craft, which has been very successful for them. They are going to explain how they got their experience, how they got there, and their experience of becoming a well-known local business. Hello, locksmiths. Hello there. Hello, how can I help? Um, I've got problems with the patio door. Um, right. Last year I had a problem with the front door and you come and fix that. Um, this is the patio doors. And My name is Larry Neal and I work for a company called Locksmith Services Limited and we've been operating for about nine years. My name is Kevin Terry and my business is Heating and Plumbing. KTH Services Limited has been operating for 10 years. When I was 11 years old, I started my first job. What was in a cafe called Day and Night, or Sid's Cafe. The guy at work had actually died on a canal boat, and I decided I wanted to do more. So I started looking around in the Dalton's Weekly to see what jobs I could do or businesses I could buy. From there, I then brought a copper kettle which was a bake, which was a cafe actually, when I was 21 years old. I left school when I was 16. My father was on British gas and he said, uh, then to get a trade and you'll always be employed. It's funny, after all these years, he's dead right. After 40 years, I've never not, never worked. So he was dead right. <coughs> I first became self-employed in 1986 and just simply called it K. Terry Heating and then uh, after about 20 years it became KTH Services Limited. I'd been working with British Gas since I was 16. I got married four years after that. Around about three years after getting married I realised uh, I could earn more money in the weekend than I could all week working for someone. By the age of 38, I then brought a pub called the White Horse Public House. And then from there, I sold them all and started up and retrained as a locksmith. And the reason we chose a business like Locksmith Services compared to one of the other businesses is because we waited for customers to come in and buy a cup of tea for 65p or a loaf of bread for a pound where now we charge a labour charge which is for us to go out which is a set 65 pounds plus VAT. So. Here we see Larry fitting a door with a fresh 5 lever British standard lock in the back door of a customer's house. It takes Larry only a couple of hours to fit one of these and is one of his specialist skills that he has learnt over the years to master. These are 115 plus fat fitted, these are. Okay. And what's that one going on the union? This one's going to be a leg, a leg to do it. I expanded too quickly and didn't take enough time choosing the people correctly. At the current moment in time, I have four employees uh, and two contractors that come in just two or three days a week. I mean, the most I've ever had was 12 employees and five apprentices and two in the office. So it was around about 20 people. Top tips. I think the other thing you need to do is make sure you've got enough funding behind you have enough money to pay the bills when it is a quiet time. You've got to be motivated. They've got to want to do it. Uh, they can't go into a business half-heartedly and just hope it happens. You've got to make things happen and have a lot of energy to start with. Uh, that's half the battle. You've got to be very good with customers. You've got to make sure the customers believe what you say and they trust what you say. I think the way technology is going to um, go to the locksmith business is going to find locks themselves with technology 
with fingerprints coming on for your front door lock or a lot more locks to do with technology, opening your lock using your mobile phone. All that technology is out there at the moment. As the same as your car, you just push a button and the car will open. So electronic stuff's gonna really take over the locksmithing business. Technology, obviously I've been around for 40 years, so I've seen it at the very basic, before mobile phones, before the internet. Boilers were the simplest things in the world to work on. But what's happened with boilers is they've become much more reliable, even though the te technology has taken over. My business in 10 years, well, I'm 55, 56 this year, so I'm hoping to retire. It's a family business, so I'll be handing it over to the family, my son and my daughter, to carry on. In 10 years time, I will expect my younger son to come and be working for us. I would expect myself going out on a fewer jobs and him doing more of the harder jobs, him getting out of bed at night, me not getting out of bed at night as that gets harder and harder to do. And really for me taking a step back, ready for my retirement and handing the business over to him. The big thing that everybody says is when you're self-employed, you're your own boss, which is fabulous when you first start and you think you've got masses of freedom, and you can have uh, less time if the business really takes off, but okay, the yeah, rewards well, are greater. So um, basically, the harder you work, the more money you'll earn, and it's all, it can be virtually un unlimited. Flexibility. Work when you want to work. Go on holiday when you want to go on holiday. Not have someone tell you what to do and when to do it and I couldn't do a nine to five job. I can work the job around my social life. That's the difference. When I started out, my, job, my number one priority in life was to set the business up. So I used to work 24 hours a day on call. I think as time goes on, you get more financially viable. You've got more regular customers and you start taking a little bit more of your social life. Uh, a Worcester Bosch? A Worcester, yeah, sorry. I was just thinking, that doesn't say Bosch. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's made in Worcester, but it's all Bosch uh, parts from Germany. So that, that's, that's, the, that's what the confusing thing is. I think everybody um, doesn't realise Bosch are involved. Yeah, um, any, we could do it, the quickest we could do it would be this Friday. After working with Larry and Kevin, I found out that there is a lot more to starting your own business than meets the eye. You need to have patience because your business won't be successful overnight. Some days you won't have the work and you'll be sitting by the phone waiting for it to ring. Kevin taught me not to expand too quickly as you need to establish yourself before hiring anyone else. But Larry taught me that the first business you start may not suit you, so therefore you might move on to something bigger and better in the future. No problem. Bye. Have one done. Just put that in. Boiler service. I just write it what it is. <laughs>